Hey guys, Shivam here back with another YouTube video. If you don't know me, my name is Shivam and I cover all kind of tools that you can use to run your agency successfully. In today's video, I'm going to cover ManyReach. Now, ManyReach is a cool email tool. You may be thinking another cool email tool. Why do I want to use this over others? That's because it's solving the number one problem that you guys face that is paying on a monthly basis. So ManyReach has reached out to me and offered you guys lifetime deals. That's right. I said lifetime deals. Now, if you guys don't know what lifetime deals are, lifetime deals basically mean you pay once and then you own the inbox for your entire life. The lifetime deals are starting with $89 and go up to $399 one time and then you don't have to pay ever. So you can click on the link in the description to check out more about that. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how many reach works, why it's become one of my favorite tools to use and how you can use it to your advantage to start closing social media marketing and freelancing clients for your own agency. So let's get started. All you need to do is come on many reach. You'll find the link in the description and you can see it's the only true unlimited cold emailing platform. That's because they don't ever charge monthly. All they do is they charge you via per email sent. That's right. So you don't need to pay monthly like all the other tools you pay per email sent. The one credit is equal to one email spent and one credit is equal to 10 warm up emails spent. They do have a 250 email trial that basically means that you get 250 emails to send for free. So when you come onto the site, all you need to do is click on try for free now and you'll be taken to making a new account. Now, of course, I already have my account. As you can see, I have 110,000 credits available to me. Now, what does 110,000 credits mean? It means that I can send over 110,000 emails using this account. And if I don't utilize that, it'll roll over to the next month. So I can start collecting more and more emails and I can just blast one out at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first of all how everything works. So first of all, we obviously going to be sent up our sender. Now what a sender basically is, is the email that you'll be using to send out your cold emails. So what you need to do is you need to click on add sender. And what it'll ask you to do is it'll ask you to select your email provider. You can use a Gmail app password, but I always recommend Google workspace authorization. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to ask me to configure my IMAP is enabled. So let me just take you to the workspace and show you how you can enable your IMAP. So you can see I've reached my inbox over here. This is the email I want to connect. I will just go on to my settings over here. And I click on settings, you need to click on see all settings. This will open up your settings and you need to click on forwarding and pop IMAP and make sure that your IMAP is enabled. You can see status IMAP is enabled. This is disabled usually, so you need to come in and click on enable IMAP. And you go back to senders, you can say yes, IMAP is enabled. Now it'll basically ask you to connect your Google account to your workspace admin. So let's go there. To click on workspace admin panel and take you to a new tab, you need to make sure that you are logging into the right account. You can see shivam at somethingsocial.com and this was the email that I was doing, shivam at somethingsocial.com. Once you've come over here, it'll automatically take you to app access control. You need to click on add app and o auth name or client ID. We'll go back over here and we will copy this. You just need to click on it and you need to paste this over here. It'll search and it'll show you basically many reaches outreach. You need to click on many reach over here and click on select. You tick this and you click select and you need to make sure that you are using all users so you don't have to repeat this process again. Click on continue, make sure that you trust it and you continue on and you finish this over here. Once this is finished, you'll basically be able to log in through many reach. I will say add Google account over here. So as you can see, I've started to connect to one at something social.com. I'll just click continue over here. And what it will basically make me do is allow access to my Google account. And there we go. It's as simple as that. It is set up over here. Now we need to set up our warm up. First of all, warm up is usually recommended to be 14 days. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to click on warm up. And you can see the daily limit is automatically set to 20 with a delay of five minutes. We don't have a signature right now, which we can add later. And here is the health that is showing. Now, like I said before, one credit is equal to 10 warm up emails. So make sure you've got that calculated. You can reconnect it, you can open its inbox or you can delete it. You can obviously add multiple senders over here. You've got your analytics for, you know, how many warm up emails were open. What is the status of everything? Now we'll come on to campaigns because that is obviously one of the main reasons that we obviously start any cold email structure. We'll click on create campaign and I will create a campaign for the YouTube video. So I will create YouTube video and click create. What it's going to ask me to do is going to ask me to add an initial email. You're allowed to personalize it. You're allowed to spin it. You're allowed to add the body. So let's just go to prospects first and I'm going to click and add prospects over here. So I'm going to upload a CSV and you can see I've got e-commerce leads loaded up. I click on open and you can see all of these are over there. You can see which fields do you want. So for example, I want the company name which is over here. We've got the email, we've got the first name, we've got the last name and we've got ignoring first row because obviously it's the header row. And if email already exists in main database, 
to update. This is the main advantage ManyReach has is that you can basically have unlimited leads on there. It does not take any credits like other softwares. So you can have all your leads in one place. So you can see we've got all our leads over here already loaded in. I'm going to go back to steps right now. And what we're going to do is we are going to show you how to write the email. So for example basis, I want to write my subject line to be personalized. So I will say first name and then I will write YouTube collaboration just to make sure that, you know, I, I may be writing cold email to softwares for a YouTube collaboration over here. I'll write here and then personalize again. And I have all these choices that I want filled in. Of course, it has to be in your list to make sure that they are there to so write here first name. And then I will maybe add a icebreaker over here and then you can add your email signature once you set it up so I can add my email signature over here. You can see that is your sender email, sender first name, sender last name, sender full name, sender signature. So I'm just going to do sender first name. And the best part about this is that you can also add an unsubscribe link right over here. So you make sure that every email of yours has an unsubscribe link and is not landing in spam for you in any way. One of the really cool things is also insert spin tags. So what you can do is you can also insert spin tags of opening and closing. So you can see instead of saying, hey, first name, I can do hello, hi, good morning. Basically, it's going to auto add this into your email. So if I remove this over here, what it's going to do is it's going to send hi to some people, hello to some people, good morning to some people. It's as easy as that. You can even add it for closing. You can see thanks, cheers, regards, best wishes. So, you know, it, it has the choice of you to basically make sure that your deliverability is the best among anything else, because we usually forget this, right? You would not think about adding so many spin taxes, but this allows you to do this in one click. Now we can obviously add a follow up email based on, you know, whatever steps we want. If you don't want a follow up email, which I 100% recommend this to be, you have to click reply in thread so that it creates a thread like structure. You can send this email in how many days you want. So you can see the prospects are already loaded in which are our 10 prospects. You can see every, all the data is over here. If I go into settings now, settings basically means your campaign. You can add a folder uh, to which you want a campaign. Say for example, I want one to be a YouTube campaign, one to be an Instagram campaign, one to be a social media management campaign. I can even write, if I get a positive reply, that's worth $5,000 to me. From here, you select the sender that you just added and campaign will spot stop sending all the days for the day after 50 emails were sent per campaign. So what Basically, this does is that you can click on how many sending limits do you want per campaign or do you want it per sender? So for example, I'm using multiple campaigns to the same sender. It will make sure that we don't land in spam. We obviously got a random delay, which you can obviously set up. I usually recommend it to be 30 to 45. You can also increase cents per day dependent on how you want to be structuring your thing. You've got a sending schedule that you can basically choose the time exactly what it goes out on. You can track your opens, you can track your click. You can choose not send prospects with missing placeholder values. So basically if there's a placeholder value that you wanted as required and that's not in your lead list, you missed it out. So you can auto select this so it does not go. And you can also have a custom URL parameter for conversions, for example, basis to track it better. And yeah, this is basically it. All you need to do is click on start campaign and your campaign is gonna start. You also have the choice to make more workspace accounts. So make sure that, you know, uh, you have all your users under over here. You can have multiple workspaces over here so you can manage multiple clients. And you obviously lastly have your Unibox. Your Unibox is how it works. Basically all your cold email responses come over here. You can respond back from here. So if you're operating 20, 25 cold email inboxes, you can just use this to do that. You obviously have your CRM. Your CRM is basically what uh, your leads are looking like, what your lead structure is looking like. So all of this is inserted inside of many reach. So all you need to do is go in the link in the description, buy the lifetime deal. It starts from $89, which is a no brainer because some softwares do charge $100, $150 per month. And that's going to allow you to send, I think 10,000 emails per month with a credit rollover. So it becomes a no brainer for you to purchase that. They do just have 1000 total lifetime deals set. And you can see, I also bought mine. That is why I am on the hundred K one. I show you, you can see my birthday hundred K limited. I think this one is a bit more expensive. I don't remember what I paid, but it makes so much sense for me to operate on this versus, you know, pay on a monthly basis with everything available to me right over here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit the like button. If you have any questions, do let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.